Hello and welcome back to another useful video of Explore Bio on Genomics series. I am Dr. Abhishek and today we will learn about the pan genome. We will see why it is very very important to study the pan genome. But before I begin, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to enjoy my latest uploads. Pan genome is actually the genomes of multiple individuals, strains or populations. Thus, a pan genome represents the entire set of genes within a species. The pan genome comprises of a core genome which consists of genomic regions or sequences that are conserved throughout the individuals or groups of that species. The remaining portion of the pan genome which is not conserved and show lot of variations is termed as dispensable genome. Initially, the pan genome of a bacterial species was sequenced. Later on, pan genomes of several eukaryotes including plants and humans have been sequenced. But why is it even necessary to sequence the genomes of multiple individuals of a species? Comparing the sequences of pan genome has shown significant variations across the individuals of a species and relying on a single reference genome for a species can lead to wrong interpretation of the genomic basis of diverse traits. And many agronomically important genes in plant species are most often found in the dispensable genome. It is the genomic region which show variation across individuals. For example, the first plant pan genome of 7 accession of glycine soja, which is a wild relative of cultivated soybean, was published in 2014 by Lee and co-workers. The comparative pan genome study revealed that about 80% of the genome or the core genome was conserved. Cultivated soybean has lost much of its genetic diversity through domestication and this can have severe consequences for the plant growth and survival under stressful conditions. This portion of variable genome is termed as dispensable genome which comprises of several genes involved in functions such as biotic stress response and development. Thus having a single reference genome for a species does not adequately represent the genetic diversity across the population as it misses out several genes and their variations. Dispensable genome represents a promising avenue for introducing beneficial genes into important crop species. Now let's see what is the major challenge with pan genome sequencing. As you all know that the eukaryotic genome are huge and comprises of a large portion of repetitive DNA. Short read sequencing methods poses a big challenge in accurate assembly of the genomes. But recently, with the improvement of next generation sequencing technologies, sequencing longer reads with higher accuracy is facilitating sequencing and assembling multiple genomes with higher precision. And soon we will see more and more pan genomes being published for several more species. If you find the information useful, do share it with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Check out my other interesting videos on genomics, techniques, markers, plant tissue culture, research and publishing and others. Till then, thanks and see you in the next video.